I have a special guest. I'm Seamus McFernan's good side. You're evil! Pure darkness. It has been seven days since my good side was murdered. I find myself making decisions that normally I wouldn't. It's almost as if my id is at the wheel and is the very definition of a reckless driver. Actually, I, I rather enjoyed that, but I'm forced to ask, is that me talking or the dark passenger, Dark Seamus? Hi, I'm Seamus McFernan, or at least I hope so. Hope is for faggots. Today we're counting down the top five comic books that maybe you missed. I don't think so. I'm in control. You are my meat puppet. Today we are counting down the top five action films of the 80s. <sighs> you could have just suggested that. I, it's, you didn't have to actually work the puppet strings on me, ass face. Number five. Escape from New York. What you have is a kidnapped president in the distant future of 1997. You have a character named the Duke, played by Isaac Hayes, or as you may know, Chef. Say, everybody have a seen my balls, they're big and salty and brown. If you ever need a quick, pick me up, just stick my balls in your mouth. Ooh. Anyway, he decides to capture the president played by Donald Pleasance. Lou hmm. misses for faggots. So the government does everything they can to save the president. They send in an army? No. A dragon? N no. A big fucking knife? What? No. No, they they send in one man, Snake Pliskin. You know, now that I'm saying it aloud, it probably would have made more sense to send in an army. Or even a big fucking knife. So you have the hero of the story, Snake Pliskin, who travels through apocalyptic New York, facing the extras from the Warriors. Eventually, he moses on through and catches a glimpse of what looks like the love child of Elton John and Goku. What? Can Number four is Bloodsport. Blood. Sweet, sweet blood. Bloodsport is about Frank Dukes. Blood. Who's a military officer, highly decorated, I'm assuming, because everyone's after his ass throughout the whole movie. Frank Dukes, played by Jean-Claude Van Damme, spent his childhood being trained by a very prestigious martial arts master. Where after he decided to go ahead and enter the Kumite, or a tournament for people who shake and laugh and look and Tim what is with this shot anyway like really they couldn't find anyone else who was more intimidating than this guy men women babies they all bleed I don't know 
if I should say that's the biggest understatement of the century, or what the fuck is wrong with you? Anyway, Jean-Claude Van Damme, which, is it me or like every line in this movie, I can't understand what the fuck he's saying at all? Is that like a prereq for every hero in any movie to just not, I can't understand what the fuck is coming out of their mouth? Go for the gut. It's I wish I was back at Bragg now. Then why do you want to kill me? Frank Dukes participates in the, uh, the blood sport, the, the Kumite, and he has a showdown with the world's least intimidating Asian. Just before he leaves, he waves goodbye to this girl that he just had relations with about 30 minutes ago in the movie. And she just lets him go. That doesn't happen, ladies and gentlemen. That doesn't happen, okay? <laughs> Sorry, Lindsay. Yes, I did. Gun. Oh, oh, oh. Coming in at number three is Lethal Weapon. It's said that Lethal Weapon started many of the precedents for future buddy action films. The two main characters, Riggs and Murtaugh, played by Mel Gibson and Danny Glover, have a reluctant partnership. And then what transpires is a series of one-liners, homoerotic overtones, and a drug bust. A travesty is when you fillet the flesh off a child's face, only to realize that you were a little overzealous, and perhaps carving the image of a jack-o'-lantern would have been more appropriate. You, you know, it's times like this that I, I really miss my good side. Pikachu! I choose you. Oh, shut the fuck up. I'm warning you. They drew first blood, not me. Number two is First Blood, aka Rambo Part 1, colon, First Blood. First Blood is based off of a book of the same title, where a Vietnam veteran is the focus of a manhunt. Rambo uses his military training to disable his pursuers. Now in the book, he doesn't really disable them, it's more like he decimates them. He fucking kills like 500 people. He kills civilians, police officers, and National Guardsmen. What the hell are you doing? Oh my, no wonder you wanted to do action films, you sick bastard. You get off on this shit, don't you? Oh, like you don't watch porn. Even if I did, which you do, I don't blow my wad to sadism, okay? My tastes are pretty conventional. Minus the hentai. Hentai, huh? Like, tentacle sex? No, no, like animation, like... Tentacle sex. No, 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 no. Like Tentacle the, the, sex. No, I just trying animation. Tentacle Sometimes they draw sex. a certain way and it makes you, Oh my god, I'm gonna knife you, I swear to god. Tentacle sex. Yippee ki motherfucker. Number one, obviously, Die Hard. It said that Die Hard triggered off an entirely new movement for action films. Die Hard is about a New York City police officer who happens to go on a Christmas vacation in LA. And basically, he gets himself entangled in an act of terrorism, led by the Metatron. Sweet Jesus, do you have to use the whole can? Or Snape. Or Alan Rickman, for those of you who I should kill. The thing about Die Hard that's different from the rest of these martial arts garbled mouthed motherfuckers is this. John McClane is an ordinary guy in an extraordinary situation that manages to come out on top. I have killed before. What? No, wait, wait, wait. You are but a facet of my personality. If you've killed someone, that implies that I killed someone, okay? And I honestly couldn't harm a- OH MY GOD! <sighs> oh, relax. It's only catch up. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. That's not ketchup! <laughs> I know.
The cat was being loud. I simply installed a mute button. Panther? <laughs> Ha 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 ha!